this seems like a really sketchy place to be standing. <laughs> Maybe I should stand behind my truck. Anyway, uh, one of the cool things about living in an affluent town as a blue collar grunt worker is that oftentimes you get really cool stuff for free. Case in point. Look. Free! Please take me. <laughs> I love it when they say that. Please take me. Yes. Sure, I'll take you. Uh, anyway, I think this has probably been here for a while. I don't know if too many people have the capacity to take her, him, it. Uh, anyway, my kid is all excited because he loves to shoot the hoop. Is this thing busted? No, yeah, it's all right. And uh, we like free. We have a big patio at the ranch. This will be perfect for it. Uh, it's got a little rust, but you know what? I'm all about reuse. I mean, think about it. Like, you're not going to have to mine. If I went out and bought this thing new, first of all, I'd have to assemble the whole thing. Oh, look. It's got this funny thing here. I wonder. Looks like it's got a little bit of challenge. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Uh, to keep it up. Is it adjustable? Let's see. I don't know. I guess I could try to pick it up and see what happens. But uh, yeah, think about it. You know, you have to build all that plastic again. These brackets, mine the metal, you know, make the labels, build the net, build the, the rim, build all this stuff, and uh, then ship it all the way from China to here, causing untold damage to the environment if I was to buy one new. Uh, or I could just help save your planet and uh, utilize this one here. So maybe I'll do a little inspection, make sure it's uh, good to go. I don't see any issues with it. Is it a breakaway? No, looks like you can hang on the rim, Daryl Dawkins style, be okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna load the sale. Most people also don't have the capacity to, to pick things up like that, but I sure do. Uh, anyway, don't call me. Don't, don't, don't put comments on the, on the, uh, the video that said, oh, Gary, I had a much nicer one you could have had for free if you just called me up, because it'll be too late. Maybe we can make a full court if that's the case. Anyway, let's get this on the road. All right, I think it's gonna work. I don't have a ladder, so I have to hook it kind of low. Hopefully it doesn't flop over and kill me. I think if I slide this up as high as I can, that'll help a little bit. Probably gonna want to fall down. I don't know what it's gonna want to do. Probably when those things fall off. Mayhem is gonna occur. Let's just see. See what happens when we pick it up. It's gonna behave like a palm tree. Hmm. Oops. Oh, let's go away from the truck. I don't want to dent the truck if it falls over. Extend out a little. There, get it away from the truck, Gary. Away from the truck. Oh, oh, what's it gonna do? It's gonna flop over, gonna stand up. What's it gonna do? All right. Oh! Hey! Flop it down. What happens when I take the weights off? I guess this is part of the deal. All right included. Take that. Take this concrete included too. I can use that too. Let's see. Oh. Oh. All right. It's doing what I hoped it would do. Now. Put it in the truck. So far, so good. I should never say that though. I'm just gonna jinx the whole thing. Might not be able to get it back to where I need it. That might be the, the challenge here today. All the way up? Yeah, I don't know. Hope it'll roll back. After all, it's like every other day, it's a one-man show out here. You see somebody pulling up to your house with a train truck, picking up all your free stuff inside of the road, don't worry. It's just me. Oh, it's so wonderful having a crane and a big truck. 
you guys should try it. Look at this. Whenever you want a basketball hoop, just drive around until you find one. Remember, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Everything you ever need in life, eventually, you can find it on the side of the road. A little bit. Oh no, whoops. We're hanging out a little. Rotate, a little bit of rotate. A little bit of nothing that a little bit of rotate can't solve. Let's drop it right there. Hey, hey, hey. I think we've got ourselves a basketball hoop. Maybe I'll invite you guys over to play some one on one or two on two or five on five. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, baby. Did I tell you I used to be able to dunk? What? I used to be able to dunk a baseball. The last time I did it, I was in the high school gym showing off to the girls. When I was 18 years old at the height of my jumping career. I'm only six feet tall. So it's saying something as a white guy, getting up that high, being able to dunk. And, uh, but I learned my lesson. Because the last time I did it, ever, I jumped up there, dunked the baseball, and then my fingers hooked the rim a little too long, which caused me to swing out horizontal, just below the rim my body like eight or nine feet above the floor and I was like oh my god I need to hang on to swing back in order to land this thing without killing myself and I could feel the fingers slipping slipping right when I got to the full horizontal position on the upward swing I slipped my fingers slipped and I came straight down on my tailbone and I couldn't breathe. Got the wind completely knocked out of me. And uh, I, that, that didn't really impress the girls. Maybe got me some sympathy votes. But uh, yeah, that was the last time I dunked ever. Except, uh, you know, when I lower the rim. Anyway, here it is. We need a basketball. You come down to Golden Gate Palms and you leave your door open for just a minute. What I want you to do is to make sure, make sure, absolutely sure, that Gomez, our deaf cat, <laughs> has not climbed into your vehicle and is trying to stow away. Because you do that every single time. Gomez, Gomez, can you hear me? Gomez! Maybe if you yell really loud, he can hear you. Anyway, um, Gomez, check out the basketball hoop. Look at this. This is almost a good permanent spot for it. We could have a hole half court game right here. I don't even think I can jump up and fix that net anymore. That might be beyond my capabilities at 55 years old. Anyway, yeah, there it is. You want to bring your basketball down, shoot some hoop, look at some palm trees, make sure not to forget the ball. All right, back to work.